Hi guys, welcome back. This is Isa from Princetic and I am so excited because Princetic's website is finally ready. In this video I will show you how you can download the free samples and how to get around the page. Okay, so this website is called Princetic and then dot shop. If you type that in your search bar, it's going to bring you here. This is the main page. Now, if you're looking for the free samples, know that these are in the main page. So when you go here, you're going to have them right here. Now, this is only showing six, but if you click on view all, you are going to open the totality of the free samples. So I'm gonna tap there. This is all of the samples available. You have some planner samples, some specific ones. You download one of these and you install it on your particular software. You see how it works and make sure everything will work fine before making a purchase. You also have a sticker book sample and a widget library sample. Now, how to download these? So for example, if you're interested in testing the Color Planner V2, I'm gonna tap there. And some downloads have options, so this is the drop-down menu. If you tap there, you're going to see the options. In this case, you have a guide and you have a sample. The sample is kind of the planner itself. It's only a few pages, but you have links, so you can make sure that those will work with whichever program you're using. And I recommend downloading both. So you have to add one by one. So now the guide is selected, that's fine. I'm going to click on Add to Cart that will automatically bring me to the checkout page, but I'm not ready. So you can click on continue shopping. This will bring you back to all of the products. So if you want to go back to the samples specifically, you can just click on this logo and tapping there will always bring you to the main page. Remember, this is where the samples are located. So for example, I wanted now the actual planner sample. So I'm gonna click on view all. And again, I'm gonna find the color planner. And this time I'm going to select the planner sample, so I just tap there and add to cart. Now you can see that I have these two downloads added. So now I can just continue to check out, or if you want to add stickers and widgets, I'm gonna go back to my main page and click on widget library. Here again you have different options, and this says good notes format. This means that the library will be ready to use in GoodNotes, that's the format I recommend if you are using GoodNotes because everything's ready to use, you don't really have to uh, manually import anything else. Because if you're using a different app that is not GoodNotes, then you need to pick both of these, so PDF and PNGs, so you're gonna add one to cart and then come back to this page and select the other uh, version and add it to the cart as well. But right now I'm interested in the GoodNotes format, so I'm gonna click on Add to Cart. And this is a lot of like going back and forth, but you can make a single order and get several items because I see a lot of you guys making different orders with one item each, which is fine, but I feel like this is uh, less complicated and a little faster. So when I'm ready with all of my freebies, feel free to add all of the freebies if you want. These are for you, these are for you to test and use. These widgets and the stickers, you can use them on any planner that you already have, so feel free to get all of them. And then when you're ready, click on checkout. Now this area, I'm kind of covering my personal data, but here you will enter your address, your email address. Your email address is very, very important because that's where you're going to receive the links to download, okay? So make sure to enter that correctly. That's the only way that you can access the download links. Now you can see a summary of what you're getting. You can see that it's zero because it's all free. And down here you can click on continue to payment. Now you're gonna have this box that says that your order is free and there's no payment required and then you can click on complete order. Now the order went through, you should have received an email with the download links. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So this is what the email that you receive looks like and what you have to do now is click on view your order and now this is where you have the download links. I'm going to quickly show you how to install this. So for example, I'm going to install the widget library. Now the first thing I want to say, the GoodNotes files, the, the files that end in .goodnotes.zip do not need to be unzipped. These are ready to be used in GoodNotes. And also the files that end in .pdf like this one can also be sent straight to GoodNotes without needing to unzip or use any other app. So I'm gonna click on this first one for the widget library, click on download, 
the file will be downloaded and saved to your files in the iPad. So in this new version, you have this download icon here and this will show you the file. Now, if you tap on this file, it's odd because sometimes it gives me the option to select what app I want to export it to. To export, you click on the top right corner icon here, this little box with the arrow pointing up. I, I'm, I can tap there and then choose uh, to open in GoodNotes. So I'm gonna do that right now, open. Change the location if needed, and when you're ready, click on import. And there you have your widget library. So if I use my Apple Pencil, because it's connected now, and the last tool here, which is this one, I can select a widget, move it, I can copy it, and add it to any of my planners. Now, I just want to mention, sometimes when you tap here, this opens an unzipping app such as iZip because since the file ends in .zip, then the iPad thinks that this is a file that needs to be unzipped and it's really hard to get out of there. So if you find yourself stuck and you don't have this option to export, you don't have this preview uh, window, what you can do once you see that the file has been downloaded, so remember to do that, you just click on this arrow next to your search bar in Safari you can just open the files app okay and then you should find it here you just tap there and now you will be able to export it's very bright here you get a lot of reflection i hope you can see but here you will have the button to export so just so you know this is an alternative you can also open in goodnotes from here and now i'm going to change the location because if i don't this is going to load the widget library right in between my planner that is open so I'm just going to go to my documents and import as new document. Now when I get out of here, I have the two widget libraries that I just imported. I'm gonna go back to the website and if you keep scrolling down from here, you're gonna pass the samples and after the samples, you get the actual planners. So these are all of the options available. Whenever you see one that you want, for example, if I want to purchase the Color Planner V2, I'm gonna tap where it says click here to find out more. And now you will get to the product page. Now you have several drop down menus here with different options and I just want to explain what they are. The first one that says dates is where you will select whether you want the planner to be dated, to be undated, which means that there will be no dates other than the yearly calendar, some planners have the option of being undated, but the tabs can either be from January to December or from June to July. In this case, I only have the option to choose from January to December, or I have the option to choose a dated planner. So as you can see, you have January to December 2020 or July 2019 to June 2020. So for example, if we are in October right now and I want to start my planner right away, I should pick this option because if I pick the one that runs from January to December, I have to wait until next year to start using my planner. Pick whichever version you want from here. Now, some options are just not going to be available. For example, the Sunday start dated planner that runs from January to December, that's not available. So if the planner is not available, you're gonna see a button that says unavailable and you won't be able to add it to your card. So if you don't find that option, you can just click on a different option and then you will see that that one's available and you will be able to add it to card. Now, if you click on buy it now, that's gonna send you straight to entering your billing uh, details and you know continue with payment. And if you click on add to card, this is going to bring you to the window where you can see all of the items that you have in your card. Now, the last option you have here is to choose a color. So for example, this color planner V2 comes in three color options, which is wood, this is the original wooden background. You can also choose black or gray. Down here, you have all of the preview options. If you tap and scroll, you can see details of the photos and you can just go see all the other options. This is to give you a better idea what I explained earlier. This is the Monday start, so Monday start months, Monday start weeks. Remember that this color planner V2 has two monthly views. So this is one, this is two. It also shows the extras that are included. I want to mention in the new version, so the 2020 Color Planners V2, I have added a few extra spreads. So this horizontal undated spread is a new addition and you also have these hourly spreads and these 15 minute increment spreads. This had been highly requested for people that work with appointments, nail salons, things like that, that you need to keep track of all of your appointments. So now you have 15 minute increments from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. 
7 7 a.m., 7.15, 7.30, 7.45 and so on. And you have another hourly spread also included. These are new and these are all linked to your extras, which is accessible by tapping on the purple clip on the top right corner of any page in your planner. Now, a great thing about the, this new website is that now you can buy just a planner. You don't have to buy the whole bundle. So if you purchased this bundle last year and you already have the stickers and the widgets included with it, you don't have to buy the whole bundle again. You can just purchase the planner. Okay, and to do that, you would select the options just like I showed you before, add to cart and continue to check out. However, if you do want to get the bundle, you can do that. And the original bundle will give you a big discount. In this case, it's 35%. So if you are interested in getting the original bundle, this is it. You click on add bundle and this is going to add everything to your cart and give you this discount. If you keep scrolling, you have other bundling options. And if you want to take advantage of a bundle, but you already have what comes in the original bundle, you can build your own. So what you do here is first you pick the option of the planner that you want. So whether undated or dated and what color and start. So for example, if I want to start right away with a black color with a Monday start, I select that. Okay, that's going to be selected here. Then you go to select the covers. Here you can just choose the format of the covers that you want. For the Color Planner V2, I recommend the horizontal with a spiral. So if it doesn't say that it doesn't have a spiral, it means that it does. So that's the one I recommend for this planner and then you can pick the widgets or the mini sticker books here. So for example, I got widget library last year when I bought the bundle the first time. So now I'm just going to select another one, for example, widget library four. And then I can also pick a different sticker book. Let's say the blackout sticker book. And I can also choose a font. So let's say Marcadores font is the one that works best with this planner. If you keep scrolling down, you will find other options of bundling. So this one, for example, includes everything that this one does except for the font. You get a little bit less of a discount, but that's also an option. And then you get the option of just picking the planner and the sticker book. Again, you have different options of sticker books that you can select. Once you add the bundle, the checkout process is pretty much the same as before, except that now you will have to enter payment and billing info. And remember, you need a correct email address to get access to the downloads. Now, I want to mention if at all you ever have some trouble with your order or after purchasing you have some questions, you just have to go back to printstick.shop and you will always have this icon here in the lower right corner. And if you tap there, you can just write a message with your question. Just keep in mind that we don't receive any order details in this window. So just, you know, remind us who you are, write your name or order in case that you have a question regarding that order. And if you don't, you can just type us a message and we'll reply as soon as we can. So yeah, everything is pretty much set up at the website. We will continue to add more free samples as well as more planner options and stickers and everything. So just feel free to explore here. I didn't mention you also have the sticker books right at the end. If you click on view all, you have all of the options. And another important thing that I was forgetting is when you see the product's description. So here, most of the time you will have a button that says demo. And when you tap on this button, the video that shows exactly everything that's included in this particular product will open just to make sure that you know what you're getting. All right, guys, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this makes it a little bit easier to navigate the new website. As always, if you have any questions, drop me a comment and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. And see you in our next video. Bye-bye.